Hello guys, Andrew from Swift Films, and today I'm going to bring you guys a video on how to make good quality thumbnails for free. And you're going to want to start by going into your browser, and you're going to go to this website. There will be a link in the description, and you're going to scroll down until you see this whole chart. I guess you could check the system requirements, but they're so low that if you can't, if you don't have that, you, you probably have a potato. Anyway, and you're going to click this download now. In the top right, it's going to come up with this. Do not ever press these. If it looks like an ad, it's going to make you download something else, like something you don't want. So you're going to click on this, it'll start downloading, I'm going to cancel it quick, it's a quick download. But I'm going to cancel it since I do already have it. And then you're going to go and open it and it's going to look like this. And while, I'm going to go ahead and say that the other options that you have for doing this, or you could use Paint, which comes on every computer, every Microsoft computer at least. And it's just super basic, like you're just bare necessities. So it's really not what you want to make a good thumbnail. Your other option is you could go... You could get Photoshop, which a lot of, you know, the professionals use. But the problem with Photoshop is here, the Photoshop price, is it's $20 per month, which is pretty darn expensive. Like, that, you can do the math. That would add up really fast. So, probably not going to want to do that. So, we'll go into Paint. And what you're going to want to do is, the first step that I always do is I go into my browser and go to Google and type in let's say I'm doing a Call of Duty Zombies video I would just type in zombies okay and then I'm gonna go into search tools go into images first sorry and then I'm gonna go into search tools size exactly and you want to type for width 1280 oh, 1280 by 720 and these are going to be what all these different images you can choose from and the reason you do 1280 by 720 is that that is like the what YouTube likes and what is considered one of the high definition ratios so you're gonna just you know find one you like say I like this one just click view image and I'll copy image and then you'll go back to paint and you'll click control V and it'll give you these options and press expand canvas and it'll expand the canvas to fit your photo exactly okay and that is your background layer and if you want some more detailed stuff I'll try to make another video about exactly what each thing does but basically each layer is a different you know thing within your image that can be edited individually so first we have our background so now we want to click this and you don't want to do it all in one layer because then any edit you make to that layer applies to everything so We'll go ahead and do the layer two and we'll make this our text layer. So let's say I want to make this. You want to make your font 72 is what I do. And let's say we just want to make zombies. We're going to just zombies. And I'm going to go to font. And I use Comica Axis. And you might be saying, how do you get that? That's not one of the faults that comes with the computer. Well, I'm gonna eh, I'll just I'll just go ahead and show you guys a quick one I might make a more in-depth tutorial but what you're gonna want to do is go to dafont.com and it'll have all this and then just pick you know what kind of font you want say I want a Mexican font and you can just click download and then you'll run and install it onto your the font onto your computer and then you will have that in all your you know, word this anything that uses a different font for typing so I use Comic Kai Access, that's my you know preferred YouTube font. You could choose whatever you want, but that's just what I choose. Now you're gonna want to do your YouTube color. And for me, that is blue and yellow. So I do open recent and I'll just go to here. And we'll just make this font yellow. And then you can click color picker. And all you have to do is click on the color you want and it'll select it. See it's down there. So now if I go back to this image, click and see it already made it yellow for me. So now it says zombies in yellow. And let's say, you know, this is more for more like if you're doing something advanced, I don't ever do this in thumbnails, but I'll go ahead and like show you how. You're going to want to click on this. No, it's lasso. And it's, you can basically take out parts of your image. So if you were, this is how when you say you photoshopped it onto it, what someone does is they'll just draw basically around its head. And then if I just click delete, it would, well, maybe not. I don't use this feature a whole lot so okay well 
you can use that to delete parts of the image I don't know why it's not working for me right now um oh never mind I'm retarded I know why I was in the wrong layer see that's an example see now you could hit delete and it would take that part out of your image obviously I don't want that so I'm gonna go back in and we're gonna go back to layer two so now that is what you would do and then I I don't know why that's still there okay there we go um and then I would go in here and I would just click this I could drag it and if I wanted it you know maybe down here put it there and let's say this is episode one and we're back sorry for the quick uh, delay I had a small problem but I fixed it so we're back so say this is episode one of a three-part series so all you're gonna want to do is type number one and just slide it up to the top right that's where I put it you can put it really wherever you want I'm gonna put it in the top right just because that's you know what I'm used to but we need to reopen this so we can get our color back color picker like that and there we go so now it's number one again so this is maybe a number number one and that font looks a little boring to me so what I normally like to do is I click on layer two and I press the one that says duplicate and it'll give me two of the exact same thing and you might be like why why would you need to do that well what you're gonna be able to do is if you do this is then you can go to this and you drag it down a little bit and you might say that hey that looks absolutely terrible in this case I guess drag up and then you're gonna go to layer 2 and what you're doing is and then go to paint bucket you probably know what that does it just does anything of that color changes to the color you want so what we can do is we can basically make it have kind of like a shadow effect which in my opinion looks really cool I do this for all my thumbnails so now you can drag it a little bit up to make it a little more distinct and with a lighter background you'd be able to tell a little bit more but it really does look quite cool and adds some effects to it. And this is a very you know basic thumbnail. Not my best work ever. Normally I would spend a little more time. But I'm trying to you know keep the video kind of short. So now let's say that in our zombies video we used the ray gun a lot. So now we're going to go to. Instead of typing zombies we're going to do ray gun. As expected. And we're going to get rid of this. Because we don't need it to be that size. And any of these, like a picture like that would look absolutely terrible, right? You have a background. So what you're going to do is do search tools, color, transparent. And it's going to make sure the background of the, you know, of your image is transparent. And we'll just use the Ray Gun Mark II for this. Because this is, looks like a good image. So we'll copy this image. We'll go back into it. And now we'll go up to layer 3. Add a layer. Control V again to paste it. And now let's just put this, you know, right here. And hold shift whenever you're making a photo bigger because if you don't it'll do something you know and distort it it'll let you go either way but if I you know, the back hold shift it'll only let you drag up it won't let you distort it you know even if I want to distort it if you're holding shift while you're dragging it only makes it bigger so just check that like that um any other key features that I need to show I really don't think there are so now once you're done this is a pretty terrible thumbnail I would never use something this bad but like you'd spend more time and you'd really you know you're experimenting and finding things that really look good then you're gonna go up to file this is that this is how you save you press save as and the first one I always make is as a paint.net a PDN YouTube hates this so you can't actually make your thumbnail as a PDN but say I'm gonna save this as a zombies for YouTube test and I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna also once that saves it saves pretty quick then I'm gonna do save as again and this time I'm gonna save it as a JPEG which YouTube does accept and we'll just save it again so now and I, I always do quality 100 I think it defaults at 95 or 90 I always bump it up to 100 because it's photos and might as well have that as best as possible hit okay you're gonna flatten it and basically that's why I save it as a paint.net because when you flatten it see I'll show you right here I'll flatten it, it'll save now it's just one layer so I can't really edit this at all. It's done. It's finalized. But I can go into f f open recent and reopen the one as a paint.net and it'll have all my different layers. So if you make mess up a thumbnail, if you only save it as a JPEG, you won't be able to re-edit it and you'll have to start over, which would be really frustrating. So I always save it as a paint.net and a JPEG. So I have one to upload to YouTube and one as a backup if I mess up. And then you can just go to YouTube. And I don't really think I need to show you this, but I might as well go to upload. I'll just upload this as a private, but let's just drag 
this video right here and where it says custom thumbnail you're gonna go here and I always I save all my thumbnails in a folder called thumbnails which is pretty easy but I mean if you don't want to do that then you don't have to do that but then you're just gonna scroll down and find your image which actually as many as I have it sometimes takes a while but here it is right here and then see don't click the dot PDN that YouTube here let's see if I can show you it'll probably get really mad at me if I do that maybe I mean it will get mad at me it's just how long will it take okay we'll just upload it to something set so this one is at the bottom JPEG it'll say uploading and it'll take a few seconds depending on your internet speed it may take a little longer than not but see now we got that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this upload because I this is not a video that I was planning on uploading anyway hope you guys all enjoyed if you did please leave a like it really does help if it helped you subscribe I'll have more of these tutorials coming soon and the regular Call of Duty content will not be stopping for tutorials I just have a few tutorials that I was planning on uploading loading because I figured these things out and they were things that I wanted to know when I was starting out on YouTube. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great night everybody.